Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I just want to apologize that the other day we missed a video I normally post on Wednesdays and I didn't post this week and that was because my family actually got in a, in a pretty serious car accident. Thank heavens they're okay. Uh, all three of my kids and my wife walked away from it so I'm really, really grateful for that. Uh, but it was kind of a scary thing, and uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel like it was the time to try to put up a video uh, on that day. So thank you guys so much for understanding, and uh, I just want to say how proud I am of my kids. I'm really proud of my kids. I have an eight-year-old son. I was really proud that the first thing he did was go check on his siblings. That was a really brave thing of him to do. And it's really brave of all my kids to get back in the car, because sometimes when something happens like that, you get hurt when you're doing something doesn't make you want to do it again. It kind of scares you to do it again. And that's normal. Being brave doesn't mean you're not scared. Being brave just means you're willing to do it anyway, even though you know how you feel about it and that you still do it because it's something you love to do or it's something that you need to do. And I'm so happy that they're able to walk away from that accident. So thank you guys for your patience and waiting for this Friday episode that we're gonna do today. So today's animal is actually a fish and it's a really cool fish. It's uh, one that's super, super fast. It's one of the fish we eat the most around the world. And sometimes they like to hang out with dolphins. You know which fish this is? That's right, we're drawing a tuna today. And you might be thinking tunas are kind of boring, but they're not. They're super cool fish and uh, they're really, really fun to draw. So let's make sure we have everything we need. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper out. And of course you're gonna need a sharpened pencil for some sketching. And every time we do some sketching, inevitably we're gonna have to use our erasers. So make sure you have an eraser of some kind handy because we're gonna you know, make some mistakes and erase those. But also we're gonna do an outline with a dark marker or a pen and then we're gonna need to erase all the, the sketch underneath afterwards. So, uh, because we wanna do our color at the very, very end, and I have some markers here, maybe you have crayons or watercolors or color pencils, whatever you have is just fine. All right, so let's start sketching our tuna fish. Let's think of the main shape of our tuna fish. I'm thinking it's gonna look like a football. So, <laughs> let's do a football shape right here, which is basically like this. Let's do, oops, we're not gonna get it perfect on the first try, and that's okay. Kind of a little arc right here, like that. And then we're gonna do another one. Let's go down a little bit more. We're gonna do another one underneath, like that. We might have to go over the lines just a few times, and that's all right. It's very, very hard to get it right on the very first pass. <laughs> that's all right. I feel like a lot of fish start this way <laughs> with this football shape. Um, but they're actually really sleek. They can, they can swim super, super fast because of the design of their body, which you'll see as we start putting on the rest of the, the parts of our fish here. So now we're gonna do a little line right here, right about, right about here. Because that's gonna be where we're gonna add the tail. It's not gonna go right to the tip of there. We're gonna kinda go like this. Like that. Now we're gonna be drawing kind of the mixture between a blue fin and a yellow fin tuna. And that's because uh, they're both kind of cool looking and I couldn't decide. <laughs> but there are some different kinds. There's about eight different species of tuna. And so we're just drawing kind of a variation of, uh, of a couple different, <laughs> couple different tunas. But uh, you'll see they look very, very similar, those yellow fin and blue fin. So we're gonna do little lines right here and kind of meet up towards the middle like that. There we go, that's a pretty nice looking fin. They look kind of sharp, which is kind of, you can kind of describe a lot of the parts of a tuna's body by just saying they're sharp. And it's because they, like I said, they have a sleek body design to make them go faster. All right, let's see if that's good enough. Yeah, we'll go like that. We can keep adding to it as we go, but let's go to the very top and add that big fin on the top. It's kind of like a little sail on the top of their body. And let's do, let's say right about here. We'll kind of, not, not halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway. And we're gonna do a curve right there. I don't know if you've ever seen a tuna fish. You've probably eaten a lot of tuna fish. <laughs> we eat a lot, a lot of tuna fish. A lot of, a lot of times you'll eat it out of a can. That's probably the most popular, is eating tuna fish out of a can. And tuna fish is actually really healthy for you. Let's add some little lines here for our sail, our dorsal fin. 
is what it's actually called, but it looks like a little sale. Yeah, tuna is actually very, very healthy for you, and a lot of people eat it for that reason. All right, so we're gonna add another little fin. There's got, they got that main one, and then they have another fin right behind it. It looks about like that. There you go. Almost like a little mini shark dorsal fin. <laughs> and then we're gonna do that same thing, just copy it, but just do it on the bottom. There we are. Let's do it like this, actually. That was a little too much. So that's why we brought out our erasers, huh? <laughs> and we're doing this in pencil. All right, so we got another fin on the bottom here. Same type of thing, maybe slightly bigger. Like that. And this one, we're gonna do some little lines like that. All right, it's starting to look good, pretty good. Fish are pretty easy to draw, I find. Uh, they're pretty easy to draw because they kind of got one big mass of a body and then the rest of it's just little fins that they have on the side of it. So tuna is no exception. All right, so let's do the little, let's do the, the gills because that's how they breathe underwater, right? That's our fish breathe underwater. So we're going to kind of go, maybe it's too far up, like this. Kind of just do a little curve right there. And then maybe I'll add one more, maybe not the whole way, I'll just add kind of another one right over here. There we are. And let's add the mouth maybe before we do the eye, because we know we're gonna do a big old, big old friendly eyeball, but uh, let's maybe do the mouth first. So in the mouth, the easiest way to do it is just kind of cut it, do a little triangle, a sideways triangle like this. And then you can erase all of that stuff on the inside right there. There we go. There we are. Maybe that bottom one's a little bit smaller than the top one. All right, so now let's do the same thing on the top. Let's do a little line. And we're just gonna kind of follow this down. They kind of got like a little upper lip there. <laughs> and if you want, you can kind of make that all rounded off there as well. Kind of round it off at the, the top of the mouth. There we go. Now let's do the big eyeball. That's gonna be the fun part. Giving them a big, friendly, eyeball. Now again, if you need to draw circles a little bit, if you're having a hard time drawing circles, I should say, you can use like either, it depends on how big you're drawing your tuna, but you can use maybe like the end of a, like a, something round, like a, like a glue stick cap or another kind of like milk cap or I don't know, like the bottom of a cup, something like that just to trace around, which could help you get those circles that you want. Because her circles, I always say this, but they are really difficult to draw. So I just keep drawing lines until it gets thicker and thicker and gets to the, the width that I want. And then I kind of go in and I can kind of clean it up just a little bit, just a little bit, and I'll kind of go over my, my final outline. There we go. And I'm going to have a maybe look looking over here. Give them a big pupil. It's the black part in the middle of your eye. Let's give them a big pupil so they look super friendly. Ooh, I got to think of my name for this tuna. I don't have a name yet. All right, I'll be thinking. Think of a name for your tuna. You got time. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is looking really good. Maybe this, maybe these uh, are a little bit small, but we can always fix that. Uh, maybe I want to make these a little bit bigger. Now that I'm seeing everything together, I'm kind of seeing that I want the scale to be a little bit different on some of the elements of my illustration. The scale is kind of the relationship of the size between two things. So you obviously want certain things to be bigger and smaller, and I think that tail should be a little bit bigger. But I think it, it, for now it's perfectly fine. Let's add. They have a they have a kind of a sleek looking uh, fin here. It's kind of like a razor looking fin they have on their on their side, and it kind of goes up like this, like that, and then it goes kind of down like that. Kind of like the other fins that we've done before. And I'll just kind of do a line. There we go, maybe a little thicker. Cool, I like the look of that. All right, so now you know what I'm talking about. You can see all these different fins that I'm drawing. They make them really, really fast. They help them swim fast. They can go up to like 47 miles per hour. That's really fast. It's a really fast fish. And they also have a couple more fins that are really abnormal that most fish don't have. But they're, these little fins right here, they're called finlets. And they have little ones like this, little, almost like little spikes on this part right here between these back fins and their tail. 
and those actually help the so that the water makes sure it doesn't go to the side and kind of slow them down. It cuts through the water and helps them swim super, super fast. All right, well, I think this is pretty good. We have our giant tuna fish. Now let's make sure we start outlining it with a dark marker or a pen so that we can have something to color in, which is always fun. All right, let's start off with the top of this. Okay. I'm going to kind of go out like I did there. I'm trying to round off the mouth a little bit. There we go. And we'll do the mouth on the bottom. Yeah, let's do this way. Let's start down here. Now, why do you think they're so fast? What do they need to be so fast for? <laughs> well, they're really good hunters. They eat little zooplankton, little little tiny little things in the water. They eat those when they're younger, but uh, they gotta be faster because when they get older, they eat other fish. They eat other fish and they're really good at catching them. And it also helps them get away. Which brings me to that other fact that I gave you earlier that tuna fish like to hang out with dolphins. So the reason why they hang out with dolphins is not just because they're BFFs, it's because they kind of mix in with the dolphins and so they kind of hide from sharks because sharks like to eat tuna. <laughs> so it's their way of being buddies with them to protect them. Pretty sure I had buddies like that in school when I was a kid. Kind of hide behind their dolphin friends. All right, you probably already know this, but what is a group of fish called? A school of fish, that's right. A school of fish. Kind of a fun name. All right, let's do these little finlets back here. Make them faster. Okay, we got this big fin right here too. There we go. Ah, perfect. Now tuna are actually really big fish. I was kind of surprised to, to know this, especially since most of the tuna I got was in a can. <laughs> so I had no sense of how big these fish actually are. And some of these fish can get up to six and a half feet long. I'm 6'3". So it's bigger than me, or taller than I am. That's how big these fish are. They're huge. And they can weigh over 550 pounds. Can you believe that? That really surprised me. I had no idea that tuna were such huge fish. Really, really big fish. There we are. Maybe that's why I drew it bigger on my page here. <laughs> <laughs> Without thinking about it, I made it pretty big on my page. There we are. Okay, I'm gonna fill. I'm gonna fill this in. That big pupil. Look how friendly he looks, or she. You know, I haven't decided. Haven't decided on a name yet. There we go. Oh, I'm liking how that's looking now. I think all we have left is this little fin right down here. And then we can start coloring. Let me add the little lines here. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I was about to put some on the back there, but I think we can do most of that with color. So, all right. I'm going to be thinking of a name, be thinking of a name for your uh, tuna fish. And uh, I'm going to go ahead now and erase all of the pencil mark that I have under here, this sketch. Get rid of that, and so I'm ready to color. But uh, you don't have to sit here and watch that. Let me finish this up in my coloring, and we'll catch up right after. And I think my tuna fish is finished. That turned out looking pretty cool. The colors are really awesome on these. I love the colors of tuna fish. Um, that was a lot of fun to, to color in and to draw. So hopefully you guys had a really fun time drawing it. And did you think of a name yet? 
Well, I sure thought of a name for mine. Mine, because it's a big tuna, I'm gonna name mine Jim. An extra credit for your parents if they know why I named it Jim. <laughs> but uh, I'm super happy that it turned out and every time we create something, we need to sign our name next to it just so everybody knows that it's ours. We own our work and uh, we're proud of our work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my initials here at the bottom and wrap this up. Well, thank you guys so much for drawing along with me today. This is always so much fun. I'm glad we got another video up this week. And also at the end of this video, because it is Friday, we're gonna look at some of your work at the very, very end. So I'm gonna do a little slideshow of some of the work that you guys have submitted that's amazing. So stick around and see if your stuff's in there. And as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video in particular, please drop it a like. That really helps me keep making videos just like this. So thank you and remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, I'll see you guys next time.